Welcome to our review on variation. So what we all have as individuals are a variety of different characteristics and we need to understand what's actually going to determine what characteristics we show. So there are three things that will determine our characteristic. We've got the genes, so this is what we're going to inherit from our parents and the examples of characteristics determined by genes would be eye colour, earlobe shape, nose shape for example. You've got the environmental effect, so this would be your scars, the language you speak, the accent you've got or if you've got tattoos. And then finally we've got certain characteristics that are determined by both the genes and the environment. So this would be things like intelligence, your height and your body mass. What we actually have then are inside the nucleus of any of our cells we've got these structures called chromosomes and chromosomes are made up of DNA. Now each of those chromosomes can be divided up into little sections and those sections of DNA are the genes and our genes control a certain characteristic. So you'll have a gene for your eye colour, a gene for hair colour, etc. We need to remember how many chromosomes are present in different cells. So in a normal human body cell, there are 46 chromosomes and that's made up of 23 pairs. If we're thinking about a red blood cell, they're an exception to this whole thing. They have no chromosomes at all because they have no nucleus. And then finally, our gametes, which are the sperm and the egg, they've got half the number of chromosomes of the normal body cell. So they've only got 23 chromosomes. Now, go careful on these questions on your exam paper because most of the time they're not going to ask you about humans. They will give you information in the little starter of the question about some animal like a mouse or a monkey or something along these lines and they will tell you how many chromosomes are present in either the gamete or in the normal body cell. And then the question they're going to ask you is how many are present in the other one. So if in the question they said a mouse in a normal body cell has eight chromosomes, how many chromosomes are present in the gamete, then obviously we'd be saying four because it's half of their normal body cell number. If it was the opposite side and they said that in a monkey the gamete has 10 chromosomes, how many chromosomes are present in a normal body cell of a monkey, then you double it, so it would be 20. So just remember that to read the question carefully to make sure that if it's talking about a different species, then you read the information and use what they tell you in the question to get it right. For many years there's been this debate called the nature-nurture debate. So this is where people are basically arguing about what makes us us okay is it going to be the nature or is it going to be nurture so is it your genes or is it the environment and what many scientists now believe is that both the genes and the environment work together to, de to determine some characteristics like our health and our intelligence levels but we now know that the genes play a very important part in many aspects of behavior and also how we think and we've got evidence from that from this thing called the Human Genome Project which was carried out over many years and gave us a much greater understanding of many aspects of genetics.